Hello, my name is Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I want to discuss the concept called sexual rehabilitation after radical prostatectomy. Some people call it penile rehabilitation after surgery. We know that when men undergo surgery, there can be damage to the prostate, to the nerves that will affect your ability to have erections. And so it can take time before your own body will regain the ability to have spontaneous erections. So there have been a number of investigations looking to see whether we can help increase the success and shorten the time until spontaneous erections occur. And a number of approaches have been looked at. The idea is if we create an erection on a regular basis and increase blood flow into the penis, that perhaps that will help men regain their ability to get spontaneous erections in the future. A number of studies have been done. One of them has been done using the prostaglandin injections, which we call Caverject, or with Trimix. And by injecting this and creating erections several times a week, some studies on a small number of patients have suggested that you're more likely to regain spontaneous erections later on. Other studies have looked at whether using the penile pump can help. And this artificial device that's placed over the penis helps create an erection. The problem with the pump, however, is the type of blood brought into the penis is venous blood rather than arterial blood and venous blood doesn't have as much oxygen and so whether or not it's really good for rehabilitation is something again not completely resolved. There have been some studies although small looking at the uh, medications, the oral medications whether it's Viagra, Cialis or Levitra and taking those several times a week shortly after surgery to help regain the ability to have erections in the future. And those studies have also suggested that there is some small benefit. Now this has not been completely resolved. We don't know for sure if it works. We don't know how successful it will be. But the best thing to say to you is when you've had your treatment or even before you're going to have the treatment, discuss with your doctor what their feeling is about these sexual rehabilitation programs. So rather than wait six months or a year to do some form of treatment to see how your own body has responded, you might want to take a more proactive, aggressive approach and try one of these approaches in the hope that will increase your chances of regaining spontaneous erections. It's not a surefire thing, but there is a growing body of evidence to suggest that it may be worthwhile, particularly in men that have had good erections before surgery and had a bilateral nerve sparing operation. Of course, the success is going to be greatly reduced depending on whether or not you didn't have good erections before surgery or whether one of the nerves was sacrificed during your operation. So find out as much as possible, but don't wait months to discuss this because you may miss out on that opportunity. And hopefully more data will be forthcoming in the near future. Thank you.